Hello guys, hope you're doing good. Since the last express entry draw, the draw number 176 was conducted, so many people are feeling cheated. Why? Because this draw was an historic draw, more than 27,000 people received the invitations, but all those people were from the Canadian experience class, which means that all those people who did not have any Canadian work experience did not get the invitations. Now the lowest cutoff score was just 75 and there are people waiting in the express entry pool who have the score of 450, 60, 70, 80 or even more. They were feeling kind of cheated because if they have such good scores and they've been waiting in the express entry pool but some people who have got a score of 75 or 100, 120, 200 whatever have got the invitations it's very disappointing. I can understand that. So in this video, we'll actually talk about that disappointment. Yes, this draw would certainly have many consequences in the upcoming draws. So we will talk about that in this video. Okay guys, I should have made this video around 10 days ago or maybe two weeks ago, but I've been really busy and haven't been able to give much time to YouTube. So finally, we can still talk about the same points that I wanted to talk since this draw has been conducted. According to an article published on CICnews.com, Canada invited every single CEC candidate in that draw. Now, this is not an official statement of IRCC, never published in Canada.ca website, but it is being said here that Canada's immigration department confirmed it to them. And it might be true because you won't expect many people with a score of 75 or even lesser in the express entry pool. So while the tie breaking rule was still mentioned there, it wasn't actually used. And that person who had the score of 75 was the person who had the least score in the express entry pool with the CEC category. Probably the luckiest person in the world and all of those people as well who never expected that they would get the invitation were lucky as well. They had the scores of 300s, early 400s, they never expected that they would get the invitation. So of course, all of those people got benefited who never expected that they could get an invitation from IRCC so easily. What about IRCC? Yes, they really got benefited from this draw. How? Just a couple of months back in late 2020, Canada actually set this ambitious target that they would invite more than 1 million immigrants to Canada in the next three years. Now 1.2 million permanent residents in three years, which means that close to 400,000 immigrants this year in 2021. Now out of those 400,000 immigrants, close to 108,000 immigrants would be invited through the express entry system. Basically, um, all those people who actually belong to the FSW category, all those people who actually belong to the FSTC or the CEC category how they would be actually able to achieve this target when the pandemic still continues, when there are lockdowns around the world, when the restrictions are still there. So how will they actually be able to achieve their ambitious target? Let's say if they issue a huge number of invitations to all those people who are living outside of Canada, maybe the FSW category. Mind it, we're not talking just about people from India, we're talking about people from around the world and Pandemic situation is different in every other country. After getting the invitation, we are supposed to get the medicals done. We are supposed to get the PCCs, many other documents. If the offices are closed in that particular country or that particular city, how will a person be able to get all those documents? And when everything is through, how the person would actually be able to get the biometrics done? They are already facing this issue with all of those people who actually got the invitations back in the uh, month of uh, May 2020. So considering all of that, it's a master stroke from them that they actually issued invitations to most of those people who are there in Canada. Now I say that because 90% of those invitations actually went to all of those people who are physically in Canada at the moment. So it's a master stroke from them. Very good for them because they would be able to control the conditions of Canada. They know that, okay, 
at this point of time in this particular province there's a lockdown going on so if there are delays in submitting the documents or any other situation actually happens then they would be easily able to manage that they would be easily able to verify that okay this is a particular situation in that place but if that happens somewhere around the world, it would be very difficult for them. So yes, I would say that it's a master stroke from ISCC. Anyways, as they try to justify it, that all those people who were actually working in Canada, they had the work experience, they've already been contributing to the economy of Canada because they have been paying the income taxes and all the other taxes as well. So they deserve to get the permanent residency. So yes, I would say that it was a very good move or rather a master stroke from ISCC. But at the same time, my feelings are in sync with all of those people as well who are waiting for another all program draw to be conducted. I know so many people who actually are waiting. I keep checking the comments. You know, there's so much disappointment after this draw. So now talking about all of those FSW candidates who don't have any Canadian work experience. Guys, I really understand your feelings. If I was at your place, I would feel exactly the same. If I had worked really hard, maybe given IELTS twice or thrice or four times to score 450, 460, 470, and now I'm seeing that someone who has got a score of 300, 400 are getting the invitations, but I'm just sitting in the express entry pool, and you never know because of age, I might lose points in the upcoming days. I would be even more disappointed. Guys, this is life. Life is not always fair every time. During this pandemic, so many people lost their lives. So many people lost their jobs. People are not able to meet their loved ones. Just like me, I'm not able to go to India uh, to meet my parents. I'm not able to call them here. You know, it's very difficult for everyone. And this feeling what you have at the moment is just one example of these difficult times. Yes, that last draw might have brought a lot of disappointment, but that is not the end of journey or the end of your Canadian dream. There is light at the end of the tunnel and there are good chances that Canada would resume the all program draws in the upcoming months. I'm not saying in the upcoming weeks, I'm saying in the upcoming months as the situation and condition improves. They cannot only invite the CEC and PNP candidates because just think about it, just before the draw on February 8th, there were little over 150,000 candidates in the express entry pool. And out of those, only close to 27,000 were CEC candidates. So to achieve their target, they cannot only invite CEC and PNP candidates. They have to actually invite people from around the world and they also want to do that. They also want to attract the best talents from around the world to Canada for Canada's economic growth. Now talking about the consequences of this last draw on the upcoming draws. Now please note that usually they used to issue 5,000 invitations in every single draw, but this time they issued 27,000 invitations and rather more than 27,000, which means they have actually covered the path for next five draws so they can take a breather. They can wait for some time. Hopefully, after a couple of weeks when they conduct the next draw, that draw is actually an all-program draw. Now, the last draw was conducted on February 13th and ideally, there should have been draw after 15 days, but they haven't conducted this draw. So maybe they want to wait for some more time. After that, they might conduct the all-program draw. But yes, there's nothing confirmed. ISCC has been throwing all the predictions out of the window, so I'm not going to predict anything at this moment. We don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever is going to happen, I'll keep updating you for sure. Now, if you think logically, this draw would have a huge impact on the processing times as well. Canada used to invite 5,000 people every two weeks. Now, this time they've invited 27,000 people. So, of course, when the time comes, when they submit their applications, there'll be so many processing files for the visa officers and the visa officers are limited. So, I'm sure that processing times would also be affected. But that is a discussion for later time. We might see that impact towards the fall of 2021. So, all of those guys who are waiting in the express entry pool, I hear you guys. I know it is very difficult and these kind of situations actually make you feel very disappointed, very hopeless. But yes, there is light at the end of the tunnel and there are good chances that Canada would conduct the all program draws 
because the statistics say so they cannot only do the CEC and PNP draws and achieve their target so guys stay hopeful keep your fingers crossed and also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please click the subscribe button because I keep bringing such important videos and important discussions to you regularly also please let me know in the comment section below what is your feedback what is your thought on what I've discussed in this video thanks again for watching this video